Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am doing something a little bit different, something I've not done before um, and that's acrylic pour, uh, acrylic dipping. Now if you guys were on the live call with me today, this is straight after, well not straight after, I've done some cleaning. <laughs> um, but Douglas was very intent that I should do the 8x10. So this one's for you, Douglas, my sweet man. Um, and I gave him the option of an 8x10 a, and a record. And everyone's, and it was like, record, 8x10, record, 8x10, record. But record came out on top. So, and Douglas was like, I'm leaving if you don't paint the 8x10. <laughs> I didn't paint the 8x10 in the video. But I am doing it now. And I'm doing it very different to what I normally would do. Um, what I've got here, I've got some plastic down. And I have got, um, this is my famous <laughs> cereal box. Um, just cut open, cut the bottom off and flattened it out. And I thought, I've seen a lot of these done. And they usually do them... Um, in a container and you think wow what are they going to do with all that paint that's left on the table or on the container and so what I'm going to do is let this dry and um, use it for cards why not so if you haven't seen my card making video uh, at the end of this video there will be a um, a link to acrylic pour NZ um, that thing it's called a playlist that's what it's called <laughs> um, and in that playlist you will find all sorts of very very cool things now before I go any further I've got this is my spring house paint mixed with flow troll and water and I've done it long enough that way what I don't have in there is any in, in my paints that I'm going to be adding I don't have any silicon uh, and so what I'm going to do is just put some silicon onto here now, I zoom in, you can actually see the dents in the paint where that silicon is sitting. Okay. Now, because we're going to be dipping, we're going to go down into that paint and then come back up. And so it's going to have mushed around and hopefully we will have some cells come through. That's the target. Now, because we're going down and then coming back up, what's going to be down here is going to come up first. So I'm going to... The other request that we got in the group, in the live video, was I put up like, I don't know how many was there, about 10, 12 um, colours. And said, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. And so they of course came back with all sorts of suggestions and ideas recommendations um, and one of them was all of the colors so that's what I'm doing I'm fulfilling your deepest desires my sweet live watchers and if any of you would like to come watch me live and would like to know when I'm going live I always do an email out to my mailing list there's my mailing list sign up URL um, sometime in the 24 hours before usually it's less than 24 hours I try and do it at least 24 hours oftentimes it's not I apologize. I'm uselessly terrible. Um, 
Du, 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 du. Som så va? What have we got? We've got red, green. So it was grass green, crimson red, uh, ultramarine blue, burnt sienna. Lemelon orange. Viridian hue green. <laughs> this is looking fabulous. I should take photos of this. Let's zoom in and take a photo. Medium yellow, I'm putting that at the bottom because I don't want it to take over. What else have I got? Purple. This one's actually got silicon of its own in it. So, putting that near the bottom so that it can rise up to meet us all. Dun 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 dun. Yellow okra. Turquoise. Oop. Spillage. Survived. I don't know if we've got enough of this left in there to get out. This is phthalo blue. Oh yep, yeah, there we go. Phthalo blue. Pain's grey, what about you? Anything left? Just give it a bit of dark. Spread through. Woo! That's a lot of dark. Oops. And some cerulean blue. All right, there we go. Now, I need this to be wider than that. So we need a bit more paint on the side. Are we ready for this? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> um, I'm just going to do something a bit. Prepare the canvas. And dip the edges. Here we go. How's that? Okay. And... Off you come. Ah, look at that. That's pretty. Just add a bit more in there because there's no paint in that. That is pretty, 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 pretty.
Oh my goodness me. I like that a lot. Wow. I also like that there's a lot of paint still left on there. So let's pop this over here. Just cover up any fingerprints on the sides. And I'm going to grab a 8 by 8 this time, just to be different. I'm going to That one's pretty cool too, but I didn't get a couple of corners. Let me just run some paint down. I didn't make sure it was the right size before I started, did I? That's funky. I think I would like it that way. Just bring that silicon to the top. left a heap of paint <laughs> let's pop this over here and see what we can do Yum, 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 yum. That is just delishimoto. So I'm going to try and keep that square as I roll the rest of this around the other half. Wow. That's so pretty. I love this. Oh, it's just. We have cells coming up all over the place.
Oh, that's glorious. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Let me get you down and I'm going to show you all three of these. These are fantastic. Okay, so let's start over here. This was the first one we pulled up. I love this here. It looks like a, a mohawk with a bird's eye. It, it, oh, just, yum, 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 yum. These cells are all so delicious. Look at them all. Ah, yum. So yes, I very, very much like that one. And then we're going to move over to this one here. Down in here is just some stunning, stunning cells. Look at those. Just so beautiful. And then we may move over to the leftovers, as I would call it. But it's just, oh, we go from super, super subtle pinks and blues and yummy, yummy, yummies through some more subtles, but lots of cells and some intenseness right there. Look at those cells. Oh, that's a beautiful pristine little cell on its own there. I've got a half and half dude. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Yum. And then the cells in this piece here are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at these. Look, 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 look. Oh my god. Do, 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 do. Look at those. They are so beautiful. Oh. I love it, I love it, I love it a lot. They're all so different, but there's these little clumps that sort of hit a similar. Like, look at that thread there. That's so pretty. Ah, oh, I think I need about 5,000 hours a day in order to make all the, the fabric and stuff I would love to make with this. It is just absolutely gorgeous oh so i've had fun so thank you mr douglas for um mr douglas keller sorry um mr douglas means something completely different to me mr gary douglas is a very very amazing influence in my life uh, he's the founder of access consciousness and an amazing amazing gifter of information and tools and ease in my life um so mr douglas keller thank you for challenging me to do the t the eight by ten and thank you, somebody, I can't remember who it was, I apologise for um, your request to do all the colours. <laughs> so there you have it. Those cells are still growing. Look at them, they just get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. They are beautiful. 
Right, I'm going to go, but I'll be back in your time. Three seconds to show you how they dry. Thank you for joining me. Three, two, one. All right, so here they are dry. I like this one a lot, 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 lot. Um, I so like this mohawk dude over here. He's so cool. Um, but I love the whole piece. It is vibrant, alive. Uh, it just is rocking it. It's really cool. So that one is super cool. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot. And then let's move over. I've got them all laid out here. <laughs> um, again, I really like this one. It's got different cells. Uh, these cells down here are very intense and funky. I super like those. Um, but yeah, that, they're, they're both, I mean, they came off the same bit of paint, but they're both so different, but they're so, they're also very similar. So I like those. And then we have the cardboard. <laughs> Look at this. It is so cool. Look how much these cells continue to grow after I stopped the recording. It's like, and then there's just this one funky cell in a sea of blue. Look at that. It is, wow, super cool. Let me just turn him around. Oh, look at that! <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's a bird out there somewhere with a little thing on its head like that. I'm, I'm sure I've seen it. Oh, it's so cool. I love this piece. It's so funny. Some of the most amazing pieces you do can be on a bit of cardboard that you... Yeah, what do you do with it? Other than take photos on make material i think it's probably or take photos and make prints is another option as well isn't it so here you go guys who knows what i will create with this stuff um it is funky funky chunky funky love it love it love it love it love it love it so there we are guys scanning across thank you so much for coming to play remember we are in february it is my birthday month so check out my website mickeyart.co.nz forward slash birthday check out the specials i've got going on in there and um come and play come and join me by subscribing if you haven't already Join us on the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. Um, come play, come play, come play. How much fun can we have together? And um, I adore you. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again super soon. Bye-bye.